Desperate Days in Philly, right here at Talking Habs with Rick, the number one hockey channel, that's so right there on the card. <laughs> uh, before we get to that, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and that will notify you of all my videos as they come out. Um, also, I'd like to, um, I'm not going to be able to do a live stream tonight, um, I haven't I'm having trouble getting uh, the uh, Streamlabs uh, OBS set up, but it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Um, as soon as I can get it, I'm going to announce. I want to get at least one or two games in before the end of the season, and even if the Habs don't make the playoffs, I plan to do some during the uh, playoffs, different teams, and I'll do some streams there. So hopefully you'll be watching, uh, and I'm working on it. Okay, question of the day. I'd just like your predictions for tonight's game. I'd like to know what you guys think for tonight's game. Uh, and stay tuned to the end of the video for my game predictions. Yes, let's get right into it then. So the Habs are in Philadelphia to take on the Flyers in their biggest must-win game of the year so far. If they lose this game tonight, even if they go to overtime, and Columbus wins their game in Calgary, then the Habs' chances for the postseason pretty much get washed away, in my opinion. Uh, sunk by a piss poor power play and spotty defense that's never completely gotten over making bad turnovers in their own zone that either led directly to goals or kept them running around in their own zone. So that being said, Montreal can win here tonight. If they can manage to find the back of the net again, of course, uh, it's not going to be easy as they're on the road. Their power play is last place, 11.9%. Uh, and those deficiency zone, or those, defi those defensive zone inefficiencies I just mentioned. But they can win tonight, and they must win tonight if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. So keys to victory tonight. Confidence and patience. They must play a confident game, believing in themselves and their abilities, both individually and as a team. They can't squeeze their, tick their sticks too tight. Or be afraid of making mistakes because that will lead to mistakes. It always does. They must skate like they can, relentlessly pour on the speed and transition quickly to offense. Pour over the Flyers blue line in wave after wave of red, white, and blue. Keep the Flyers off balance with no time to react. Shoot like they did uh, to Chicago. Make the goalie work. They must clear their zone quickly with fast on-the-tape breakout passes and gain their speed through the neutral zone and put fear in the goalie's eyes. I'm getting there. They have to play a 60-minute game. Everyone, everyone has to show up and they play hard all and play hard all game. And I'm not talking Drew out here. Drew has been doing well. He just he's in a bad slump. I don't know. They must score first and keep the momentum and try to keep it. Um, all game, uh, and try to keep five on five play. The power play is not going to help them. Uh, if anything, it seems to hurt them. Keep it fast. Keep it simple. Play solid on def on D. And uh, and lastly, Carey Price needs to keep playing the way he was he has been, uh, as he's been fantastic, and I expect him to stay that way. Price hasn't been the problem lately. There was one game, the Ducks game. That was it. Um, so those are my keys to victory, and uh, now, for what you've been waiting for, if you're still here, uh, here's my game predictions for tonight. Uh, I predict that we are going to win 3-2. to two. Uh, Possibly in overtime, but I hope not in overtime. Uh, I'm hoping Drew Ann breaks out of his slump, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, I read an interesting article uh, from Jeff O'Neill. Well, I've not read the whole thing, but he thinks that there's something more than just being in a slump with Drew Ann. It's going to take longer, so we'll see what that... I, I didn't read the whole thing, honestly, because I caught it just before I was ready to film. Uh, but I'm, I think there's something else wrong with him, too. He's just... He can't put it together again, but hopefully he will. Tatar and Gallagher and Deneau have a good game, scoring the winning goal. Uh, Kokanyemi gets his first road goal, and Mete his first NHL goal. Bold predictions, yeah, right. Go, Habs, go. Go. Uh, yeah, so that's what I think is going to happen tonight. Uh, I really hope the Habs win tonight, keep their playoff hopes alive. Um, having the last four games against teams that you got, what, uh, the Jets, you got Lightning, you got Capitals, and you got the Leafs. 
if they don't put some wins together now and go on a five six game winning streak, it's I don't anyways. But they have to win tonight to keep it going and let's go. Go Habs go. They're gonna win tonight. I'll see you next time. Uh yeah. I I got more to say than that. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. That'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. Uh, question of the day is I just want to know what you guys think for tonight's game. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. I read all my comments. And yeah, then now that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep those. Uh, putting something up here. I uh, hope you check it out. I think you guys will like it. The top one is something I put. The bottom one is something YouTube thinks you want to watch. Um, and that's it. So um, enjoy the game. And I'll see you after. Bye. Vasti.